Reconstituting research grade Cagrillon Tide is uniquely risky, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, I'm not saying that research grade peptides are inherently safe. What I'm saying is that amylin agonists, when reconstituted at home, pose their own unique individual risk. So cagrillantide is kind of like a modified version of amylin, a hormone that your body secretes in the pancreas when you secrete insulin. And that native hormone in the body wants to naturally clump together. This clumping together isn't just a sciencey word, it's actually something that happens in diabetics and can ultimately lead to a damaging of the pancreas. Because those fibrils, those damaged peptides, actually harm your beta cells. Cagrillantide was designed to reduce this risk, but only if it's mixed properly to begin with, refrigerated properly the whole time, and never mixed with the wrong solvent. That's actually why Novo Nordisk, who is actually the patent holder of Cagrillantide, has a new drug coming out called Cagrisema, which combines it with semaglutide in a dual chambered pen that delivers cagrilintide and semaglutide separately, but at the same time in the injector pen. Why? Because the two have different pH requirements. I don't pretend to know what those pH requirements are or how to mix them or what makes them safe. I just know that the manufacturer sees this as such a big problem that they don't even have a true combination where they're able to put these th two things together and store them safely. So what happens if you take this and it's not mixed properly is those peptides begin to fold and clump together causing these fibrils. They don't absorb right. They could lose efficacy and at worst they could cause an inflammatory response in your body or cause your body to reject the medication and develop antibodies uh, to it so that when it actually comes out on the market your body doesn't tolerate the drug and long term we just don't know so for that reason amylin agonists actually pose a greater risk than other peptides inherently pose because of this ph requirement and the folding of the peptides the clumping of the peptides and the fibril formations and here's the kicker I haven't seen a single research peptide company that's offering this, offering any of this kind of information. And that is why you should really, really start to question all the money that's to be made behind this and the genuine lack of concern of safety uh, for patients who do end up taking this stuff. Listen, I'm not here to pee in your Fruit Loops. I understand that some people are desperate and not everybody is in the same situation when it comes to accessibility to getting medicine to treat their disease. But I do want people to be aware of what no one else is talking about. And that is that there could be risk. There could be some serious risk in taking uh, research grade versions of Cagrillantide or other amylin analogs reconstituting them at home and having this thing break down and cause real damage and harm to yourself. If you found this video helpful, please follow along for all the latest breaking news in obesity medicine. We provide it from the patient perspective so that you can have more competent and confident conversations with your care team. And please consider sharing this with a friend who could benefit from the information.